and there were party and the Toma, Bonnie, and Kara. My name is Rianne and I'm from Cameroon. Hi, my name is Mary and I'm from the Igbo tribe from Nigeria. Hello, my name is Chidema. Hello, my name is Shalina. I'm from Sidadani. My culture, I'm Nigerian and we have all kinds of different things. So we have different foods, we have diverse, like we have parties, we have parades. They're different like masquerades where people wear cool masks and they go around and there's music and dancing. And there's also Nigerian parties, which are really fun and they're never the same without your love rice. So I feel like, I feel like I'm not as connected as like the rest of my family because I was born in Finland and I moved to Canada a few years ago so I've never really lived there but I feel really good and connected when talking about our food, our cultures, our different tribes and um, like what we are known for. So In Nigeria there's many tribes so when I said from the Igbo tribes we feel special because People don't really talk about the tribes in Nigeria. When I wear my dress, I speak my language, it makes you more connected because I'm in Canada, right? I don't speak my culture or my language here actually. So when I do speak it around people, it makes you feel like I'm connected to my ancestors and also to my family. Most importantly, when I, when I make my food for like, you know, the you know, evil culture, I also really feel happy because when people ask me, what's this type of food, Mary? I get to explain it, and I get to say how it makes you feel, and how it makes you feel connected to my homeland. Because I don't get to visit it often. So when I do speak about it, it makes me happy. Yeah. What about my culture is that some of my cultures, we dance, and we do fun things, and we eat like a lot of food. The foods are very delicious. When you hear black excellence, what comes to mind? When I hear black excellence, I think of all the established moments that black people have gone through, like monumental moments, like the end of slavery and different like, different countries with black people and black people all over the world. Um, our culture and our, our talents, our food, our style, um, music, basically our art too. I think art really screams out black excellence too, to represent our culture, our past, and maybe our future. When you hear black joy, what comes to mind? Well, when I hear black joy, I think about our culture, our race, our identity, our foods, our different diversities, you know? do to honor black cultures and identities? Well, scene effects, we have a lot of things that we do, like the BSA, the Black Students Association, where we talk about the black culture, we talk about black people and how we can do to help black people and how um, we There's can... a lot, actually. One of them is the Black Student Association, where we gather every Wednesday to talk people about... how um, we can promote black excellence and promote awareness. And we talk about and what we've gone through, our experiences, and how we can better promote and educate others on um, black people. And, and we another... also have different activities for the Black History Month. And they're really awesome. And another thing is what my teacher does in my class, where every single day she writes like um, one of the black first, and it's really inspiring and motivating. Three. Black History Month at Santa Fe 2022.